Without a doubt, the first Descendant is dominated by bunny players as this character allows you to farm the things you want to try out at the fastest time possible. However, this doesn't mean that you should stick with the meta and if I were asked who is my favorite character in the game, that would be Yu Jin, a support healer that you can build for DPS to slay bosses and support your team even in public matches. In this video, I will share with you how fun this Descendant is and to begin with, I would like to discuss first his abilities and how you can use each of his skills efficiently in real missions. So his first first ability is called Solidarity Healing, allowing you to deploy a drone that follows a teammate. The drone will grant constant healing to the ally as long as it's active, but I don't use this for the healing, but for the boost in both skill power and firearm attack increased bonuses after the drone is dismissed. There are two ways to do this by waiting for the drone to expire or manually dismissing it by moving further from the ally that has the drone. After that, you and your allies will gain a massive boost in firearms, which makes one third of the weapon DPS of this Eugene build. His second ability is good, but I rarely use it this descendant's fourth ability is way superior when it comes to healing. And for his third ability, I just cast it whenever I need damage reduction when my fourth ability is unavailable. I am always using his first and fourth ability always in missions, and I just cast his second and third if I want. This is because his fourth ability gives your team massive heal, but it requires you to use the duty and sacrifice skill module though so you can shoot your guns while the ability is active. Speaking of skill modules, duty and sacrifice is by far the best among all skill modules of Eugene, and I strongly recommend using this skill module, especially in Void Intercept boss battles. I have tried a Eugen build outside of Void Intercept battles, but honestly, this Descendant is not needed at all in other missions. This is because other missions are dominated by bunny players or other farming Descendants such as Volby, Sharon, or even Jaber with his turrets. Nobody needs healing when farming, and most Eugen can be spotted in Void Intercept battles, especially in the hard mode Void bosses. The best part is, aside from healing, you can also revive down allies faster compared to other Descendants, making you the ultimate support character in the game. The healing of his fourth ability does scale massively with non-attribute and fusion power, hence I have these two modules in my build. I did not go for the ones that grant the most power boost since I also needed to cut down the skill cooldown of the Descendant so I could recast my first and final abilities anytime I wanted. Also, the higher your health values, the more health you initially restore from your ultimate ability, hence it's good to stack with a ton of health values in your module and as well as your external components. However, I don't recommend overdoing health stacking and equipping the Stim Accelerant module as in real missions you should should have high MP. Also with additional MP recovery so you can efficiently use your abilities without worrying about energy problems. Finally, I added both Shot Focus and Passionate Sponsor to increase DPS in my guns. These modules give Eugene tons of firearm attack bonus, and while Shot Focus diminishes a portion of your skill power modifier, it's not really a huge problem since Passionate Sponsor can give you tons of skill power modifiers at max stack. Mind you, this ultimate module can be active all the time with the help of this build. The Descendant's first and fourth abilities allow the the passionate sponsor to be stacked fast and maintained throughout the whole duration of the boss battles as long as you have enough energy to recast your abilities. Now I did not pursue filling all the module slots currently on my Eugen because these are enough against gluttony. I also have 10,000 defense with the help of my external components which gives about 40% damage reduction. Now I guess this won't be enough against the upcoming intercept boss named Deathstalker and I'm planning to fully optimize the build adding the increased defense module and then the increased shield module on these slots. Also, another good alternative for the increased shield is giving the build the skill extension module that grants more duration to the Descendant's ultimate ability, giving you more health ticks before it expires. Finally, I managed to farm a materialized mixture reactor with skill cost and skill duration up bonus stats. The best part is, its weapon mounting is the Enduring Legacy, which perfectly pairs with my Eugen and the main gun I am using right now to melt the health of hard mode void intercept bosses. By the way, this Eugen build is great in team composition but sucks in solo plays because you can't have the bonus of a passionate sponsor. While I understand that some players are looking for more DPS setup, there are instances wherein those one-shot builds don't work in hard mode bosses, and there are crazy squad wipes mechanics that need time to do. Eugene is a very good descendant in keeping the whole team alive, as well as dishing good damage to the boss himself. Right now, you'll be praised by players for doing a good job as a Eugene in void intercept battles, but you'll sometimes see toxic bunny players in other missions cursing you for bringing the descendant into the mission. So that's all about it. I hope that this video will help you have tons of fun fun playing Eugene. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again in our next video. Squad Leader signing off.